Hey guys, hey. it's Cynthia and Travis here from the Wolf Hunters. Yep. We have a reaction video for you. Mm -hmm. Our social media platforms are below in the description box, along with our website and this link. That's where you can submit your reaction request. Today's video is brought to you guys by Brian. Brian. Who is bringing us um, Larry Ferrari, 1982 Part 1. Brian says this, okay? And I feel I feel really seen right now. I'm you just do. saying, okay? Uh, Brian says this. Hi, Travis and Susie. So I've watched a lot of your videos and listened closely to how you speak. But I still cannot determine with certainty if you're native Clevelanders or if you're East Coast transplants. Mm. I'm an East Coast guy from New Jersey who lived in Cleveland for most of the 2000s and 2010s and am now living in Michigan. Today's selection will help me solve the mystery <laughs> as Larry Ferrari's program will either make you feel nostalgic or make you think that I'm bananas. <laughs> bananas! Anyways, I realized, though, that even if you're... Wait, even Bananas! All right. I realized, though, that even if you're from the New Jersey or Philly area, you may not be old enough to remember this guy. So I need you to answer one more question for me. If you can get invited, if you get invited to a dinner party that is more than 20 minutes from where you live, would you pack an overnight bag? The music Larry plays here is all from the musical Bridge. Jadoon or Brigadoon. When I used to live in Cleveland, I referred to Coventry Road as Brigadoon because I could never find the road when I was looking for it. Then once I was on it, I could never get off of it without ending up right back on it. <laughs> Please feel free. Oh, okay. Okay. And that's just a um a note for us. I hope you enjoy right. this possible trip down memory lane. All right, Brian, listen. Are we telling him now? All right. Here's the thing. Um, There's a thing. Um, we are East Coast transplants. Um, we are from the Philadelphia area originally. Um, yeah. So that but might be... But we also live in cleveland for five years we did we lived in cleveland so i could see the struggle is real the struggle is why real. it would be hard to tell because sometimes we're probably like oh here i am drinking some water you know and people from cleveland would never say water they would just never do that so but yes um we are from philadelphia area and if i was invited to somewhere 20 minutes or more away, I would not pack an overnight bag. This is a difference between people from Cleveland area and people from Philadelphia area that it is quite normal to drive at least 20 minutes to wherever you're going. Yes. In, in Philadelphia Cleveland, area. In Cleveland, if you drive more than 15 minutes, it's like... It's like it's the whole day. The whole, It's a whole... It you better be a whole it's day It's like venture. driving across the state. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, no. You're... Uh, your your concert is twenty five minutes away. Oh, oh it's so far. It's a sacrifice. Oh, okay, yeah. so yes, um, we are East Coast transplants. Driving at least twenty minutes somewhere is no big deal at all. Yeah. Um, and although if I was going to a party, we might want to bring clothes because we would expect to maybe not leave. Now that's different until the next day. But like to give to to put it into perspective, wh uh, where we used to w work. Uh, when me and Travis first uh, were married was sometimes a four hour commute. Mm. Four hours. Two hours there, two hours back. Yeah. That's like normal. That and not because normal. of the distance so much, it's because of the traffic. Right, the traffic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah. But, the di but like if you're like, oh, 25 minutes away and there's no traffic, psh, there's that sounds fun. There never traffic in Cleveland. <laughs> there was never traffic. Not real traffic. No. no. Not real traffic. Mm -mm, yeah. Like Sunday traffic. You could go like during like prime time hours and still just. It still probably wouldn't touch Sunday traffic in Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway. Anyway, now you know. Hit the like button and subscribe. I still don't know if I will know this. All right. So six and a half minutes we're supposed to go. Into yes. This. Yes. Right, let's do it.
the Larry Ferrari show. That looks familiar. For over 25 years, it's been a Philadelphia tradition. Oh, by the way, we are too young. At the organ. Well, we're too young for 1982. But. And now, here's Larry. Good morning and welcome to our Sunday morning musical get-together here on Palm Sunday in the Delaware Valley area. And we have beautiful music for you this morning, along with the organ and the wonderful voices of the Mercer County Chorale, which will be joining us a little later on in our program with some of the wonderful sounds of this holiday season. So stay tuned for more of that. And we open up our program with some light music, and this is called The Heather on the Hill. Hope that you enjoy. I like I'm so happy. He, I like that it keeps winking at us. Very jolly. Like I feel like that's the best word to describe it. This is very happy. So happy. good. Dang. sound. That's, that's really happy notes right there, I'll tell you what. That's... It's a joyful day. So happy! My cheeks are hurting because I'm smiling so hard. His joy is definitely contagious. I feel like I do remember the logo in the beginning with his name. Like I remember seeing that, but um, I don't remember him particularly. But now I will. I don't think you can forget him. Okay, talk about uh, whether or not this is nostalgic. 
there is a level of nostalgia, 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 nostalgia. nostalgia. Uh, not from being familiar with this this particular person, guy. but I feel like like the feelings I get at a carnival. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, like a good fair. It seems, yeah, to me, I feel like uh, this reminds me of like maybe like what you would hear at like a Christmas, like. Uh, the town that I grew up in used to do this, like, they still do it, this big Christmas event where they would have, they have horses and carriages, you know, doing rides through the town and they have choirs singing mm. and they have food and vendors and it's just literally the entire town center is blocked off and you just go and you, uh, spend a chilly, cold you know, winter day celebrating Christmas to get the Christmas season together. Mm. So that's what it reminds me of. This is the kind of music that would be playing there. Festive. Yes. And happy. Joyful, you know. especially for you here on the Sunday morning in the Delaware Valley area. It is always a pleasure to come into your home and play for you, and we hope that you're enjoying the music. Thank you so ah, much for that one. I, that love, I, I just love his personality. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with us. If you enjoyed hanging out, make sure you like and subscribe. You can check out this link below in the description box to request your personal reaction video. Stay tuned. Stay positive. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.